Got a bit of a collection of smaller pieces of news for you today as we've got some little tidbits and appetizers, if you will, and the first of which is regarding Quantum Break and according to Microsoft pre-sale performance, so of course pre-orders have been strong. And Microsoft is pretty happy with how Quantum Break pre-orders are going so far. In fact, according to Aaron Greenberg, who of course is the marketing executive, they're quote, well ahead of plan and he spoke about this on the TXR podcast and said, quote, It's been great. Pre-orders are really strong. They're performing well ahead of plan. Retailers are continuing to increase their orders for the game, which we track and watch tomorrow, which is actually today at the time of recording. The reviews hit, so we'll see how they come in. He then went on to add that Microsoft believes they are, quote, sitting on a mega hit and he's looking forward to seeing how fans actually react to the game. Of course, it's out in just a few days on April the 5th, so Tuesday. Next thing on our list today is some little bit of news about Final Fantasy XV. Now, Square Enix kind of earned themselves a bit of an infamous reputation when they said that the 6 million sales of the Tomb Raider reboot just wasn't enough. But now they have made some comments on what Final Fantasy XV needs to sell in order to be successful. And that number is 10 million units or more worldwide over its lifespan to be a success. Now that is a comment made by Hajime Tabata and was told to the press at a recent conference. Now this is over its lifespan, so they're probably not looking to see this within a couple of months. They're more expecting when the game is kind of like done and dusted, like a few years down the line. That's what they're looking to see. But it could be insanely successful. This game has been in development for quite some time, so it might not take as long as they think to get to that sort of level. But they're not expecting it straight away, which is a bit more reasonable than, you know, what they said about Tomb Raider before. Obviously, it's only confirmed for PS4 and Xbox One at the moment, but they are considering a PC version and a a new platform, a third platform, would help them reach this target obviously a lot quicker as well and I think fans would be pretty happy with that move but you know they haven't said one way or the other, they're considering it is what they've said. So you might have heard the rumours previously about Bioshock the Collection which was floating around a little while ago but now another board has rated this particular collection and this is following the Taiwanese rating board as well as the Brazilian rating board and now it has been rated by the US Entertainment Software Rating Board, the ESRB and has given the collection a content rating which unsurprisingly is mature and apparently according to these various rumours it's going to PC, PS4 and Xbox One and 2K has yet to officially confirm this despite the fact that it has been rated multiple times and there's been multiple leaks regarding this collection. If it's been rated by the ESRB and there is a listing in the link, sorry, in the description below this video there's a link to a listing where you can see the ESRB rating of Mature for the Bioshock collection and if it's been rated by them it's probably happening and it's probably going to be this year but of course that's pure speculation from me. And there you have it, that's our little collection for today, hopefully you enjoyed, thank you very much for watching, hopefully we get some confirmation on Bioshock soon. And I'm very curious to see how Quantum Break does in terms of fan reception. So, it's going to be an interesting time the next couple of weeks. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time.